it's Malt Liquor Home Improvement Week. That is if you own a home. If you live with mom and dad. Well, what can I say? This last two weekends we have been busy replacing doors on the house. We re repainted the front door last week. Painted it green. Looks good. We've got a lot of compliments on it. Um, painted it last week and replaced the screen door on the front. Got cracked and it was waterlogged. Oh my god, it was so heavy to move. Of course, the wind picks up. So, then this week, end, this weekend, we decided to replace the back door. It wouldn't have been so bad, but the door was put in before the siding on the house was put on. So the brick molding around the door was actually behind the siding. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. So basically, I had to pull the brick molding off of the new door to get it to fit up into the top and off to the side. And it was just, it was an all day affair which it probably wouldn't have had to take so long, but the, uh, an older house ain't nothing square. Anybody's worked on an older house knows that. So needless to say, I've just finished up or whatever. It's like I'm gonna have to get some new trim for the inside of it because, because of the fact that we weren't able to scoot that door all the way in because of it being built, they built the door the one that was in there that was not a installed door and um, I'm gonna have to get some uh, little pieces of trim I forget what the hell they call it to basically go in there and stuff to butt that door back out and stuff to where I could put the trim up and there's not gonna be a big gap but that we couldn't get we couldn't take the door back any farther than what we did already because of the brick molding and everything and the way that the door was made so there was a royal pain in the so two cans of expanding foam later <laughs> it's insulated all the way around I did have to go get a new sill which I ended up cutting a little too short oh well because I cut it the way the old one was and the sill went in after the door frame was put up so Basically, I cut out sides for the door that didn't need to be there, so then I had to piece them back in, so that was a pain in the But luckily, the aluminum uh, threshold fits over the top of that, so you'll never see it. It's just the fact that I screwed up. But, it's like I said, stuff, let me show you real quick what I'm talking about. So this is your normal brick molding, butted up against your siding, which that's fine. That's the way it's supposed to be. But... Over here, if you notice, you don't see the brick molding. And why is that? Because the siding was put on after the door was built originally. So I had to pull off that piece of brick molding up at the top. Then we had to, and it doesn't match up there, I know. But I cannot get it to match because of the door frame. So anyway. Yeah, and I know I'm probably going to catch hell from some malt liquor drinker and stuff who doesn't own a home and has never even lifted a finger to ever do anything to a house. So needless to say, we had I had to pull that off. And up there in the corner... Yeah, let me uh, zoom, zoom, maybe zoom. Up there in the corner, there's a board sticking out just enough, and I still had to notch the back of this brick molding board to even get it to fit that close. And then we had to stick this door in here sideways to get that brick molding behind the siding. Got a couple places and stuff kind of bent up. We're going to have to straighten it back out, but anyway. So that was a friggin' nightmare. And then did get go and get a new uh, sill. I cut a little short right there, so I'm going to have to fix that. So anyway that fits uber tight but I'll show you what I'm talking about with the whoops that light ain't gonna work the dog's been driving us nuts but it fits really tight as you said I 
gonna have to get some new trim for that. But as you can see, hopefully the camera, there's a gap. Normally this gap would not be here because the door frame would be right up against that. But because of the fact that we could not scoot this door back any farther because of the way that the house was built. Yeah, so now what I'm going to do is stuff is like, uh, just get a piece of molding and put back there. It's just a small piece and stuff. I forget what they call it. I've got a piece out in the garage and stuff, but and there's a small gap over here too. So, as I said, I'll just have to fix that. The top up here isn't too bad. It's like I said, the expanding foam everywhere. But it fits tight. Got the locks and everything installed on it. So anyway, other than a couple mishaps with getting this thing fit in there the way it's supposed to, like I said, I'll have to get some trim work to put in there. So anyway, my hair's a wreck. Come on now, you can't go outside. No. So the old door that was in there was wooden, and in the winter time it would the storm door, the glass door that's over there that we're going to have to put that back on there as well would uh, frost up. So there was no insulation in there at all. This one's all insulated and everything. This is kind of neat stuff. It's got an adjustable sweep on it where you can actually uh, has screws on there where you can actually adjust the sweep on that up and down which is really kind of cool. Well the threshold part of it. I wouldn't call it the sweep. The sweep's on the actual door I think. So anyway probably try to finish that tomorrow maybe. But I'm hot, I'm tired, I stink, and just trying to fit things into a house that when the door was built into the house and then the siding was slapped over the top of the door, it's just kind of a nightmare. So anyway, so I'm going to sit here and drink my malt liquor, cuss out a few malt liquor drinkers, okay maybe I will, but anyway. So, uh, I'll take you around the front too and I'll show you what the front door looks like. Oh, there's this dorm door. Oh, the bag made it all the way over here. Oh, so we did put new mulch and everything in here about a month ago. Sandbags, <laughs> I need to put away. And we've got company coming in about a month's time, so anyway, I'll show you the Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. But here's our uh whoops, back it out. Our new uh old glass door. And the green. Anyway, we've had a lot of compliments on that green. We had to do a little touch up around the window when to pull the paint off or pull the tape off. Some of the paint came with it. So anyway, so I like it. Had a lot of compliments on that color. It's trying to match the shutters. I think I got close. So anyway. This tree needs to go bye bye. It's nothing but a starling house. And then they poop all over my truck. They poop all over the car. So I really need to get in here and power wash and scrub. It's dirty. There's our paper patio that's still there. So anyway, I'll probably just end this video here and get in there and get a bath and get something to eat. I've had two pieces of bread today. So anyway, just want to show you what we were doing. And hopefully got a few more house improvement things going on in the future. So well, this is too much pain in the butt to try to film while we were doing it. So it's like, I ain't doing it. <laughs> 
So anyway. Malt liquor. Thanks for watching.